A composite engine. A Carnot engine operates between two heat reservoirs at temperatures Th and Tc. An inventor proposes to increase the efficiency by running one engine between Th and an intermediate temperature T' and a second engine between T' and Tc using as input the heat expelled by the first engine. Compute the efficiency of this composite system and compare it to that of the original engine. Now remember that for a Carnot heat engine, Carnot engine, we have the efficiency of the Carnot engine, which is the work done by the engine, W engine, divided by heat provided to the engine, QH, is equal to, since the internal energy of the cycle uh, does not change, W engine is QH minus QC divided by QH, as we have done several uh, times in the previous problems. This is 1 minus QC divided by QH, which is 1 minus Tc over Th. Okay, so that is the efficiency of the Carnot cycle. Now, let's go with this inventor's proposal. We have a composite engine that consists of one engine, a Carnot engine, operating between, uh, so let's see what, what, what was the inventor saying, uh, just increase the efficiency by running one engine between Th and T prime and the second one between T prime and Tc. So this engine absorbs heat QH, does work W1, expels heat Q prime, and this Q prime is absorbed by the second engine, which does work W2 and expels heat QC to the cold reservoir, which is at temperature Tc. Now, what is the total uh, work done by these two engines? Uh, the total work output will be W1 plus W2. So if we look at this composite engine and the efficiency of this composite engine, uh, that's what we will calculate. Now, what is the work done by the first engine? It is QH minus Q prime, the heat expelled to the intermediate uh, reservoir, because the delta E internal of the first engine will be equal to zero. So the net amount of heat added, QH minus Q prime uh, minus W1, work done by the engine, will be equal to zero. W1 is QH minus Q prime. And for the work done by the second engine, I have um, Q, Q prime minus QC is equal to W2 because the internal energy change for the second engine is the net amount of heat added Q prime minus QC minus W2 is equal to zero. So the, what is the total work output of the composite engine? It is W1 plus W2. So this will be equal to, you can see that when I add these two up, Q primes will cancel. This will be equal to QH minus QC. Then what is the efficiency of this other engine? It's the total work output divided by uh, the amount of heat added to this composite engine, the composite engine receives heat QH. So it is, since W total is equal to QH minus QC, QH minus QC over QH, uh, this will be equal to TH minus TH minus TC over uh, th. So this was given with a capital letter in the problem statement. And therefore, what do I find? I find that the efficiency of the composite engine 
is precisely equal to the efficiency of the Carnot engine. So I didn't gain anything by dividing this engine into two engines. Okay, so the problem was that a Carnot engine operating between two heat reservoirs at temperatures T capital H and TC uh, and we know the efficiency of such an engine is work output of the engine divided by the energy provided QH which is QH minus QC over QH 1 minus QC over QH which is 1 minus TC over TH. That's the theoretical highest efficiency you can obtain from an engine operating between these two reservoirs. An inventor proposes to increase the efficiency by running one engine between TH and intermediate temperature T prime, a second engine between T prime and TC using as input the heat expelled by the first engine. Heat expelled by the first engine is the input to the second engine. Compute the efficiency of this composite system compared to that uh, compared to that of the original Carnot engine. Now for the first engine, I have the amount net amount of heat added is QH minus Q prime, uh, which must be equal to the work output W1. For the second one, it is Q prime minus QC, which is equal to the work output W2. And the total work done by these two engines will be W1 plus W2. And you can see Q primes cancel. I obtain QH minus QC. Since the net heat input to this composite engine is also Q8, nothing has changed. The efficiency of this engine is also equal to 1 minus TC over TH, which was the efficiency of the original Carnot engine. So the, there is no gain in dividing this engine into two parts.